Before the 2010 reboot film, there was the original A-Team series. From 1983 to 1987, the show graced American screens with guns ablazing action and a cast of characters fans instantly fell in love with. Roll it all together and toss in some memorable catchphrases, and it's no wonder the A-Team saw stellar ratings and gained a cult following. But whatever happened to the cast that made the show shine so brightly? Let's get reacquainted with these 80s acting icons and see what they're up to now. George Prepard with a lovable fierceness and a fat cigar permanently wedged between his teeth, George Prepard played team leader Colonel John Hannibal Smith. When the A-Team wrapped in 1987, Prepard continued acting, popping up in TV movies Man Against the Mob and Man Against the Mob The Chinatown Murders. Much like Hannibal, Prepard was a smoker, a habit that led to his lung cancer diagnosis in 1992. Sadly, he passed away just two years later at the age of 65 after contracting pneumonia. Just before his death, however, he finished filming the pilot episode for a would-have-been Matlock spinoff, The P.I. Dwight Schultz as Captain H.M. Howling Mad Murdoch, Dwight Schultz catapulted into mainstream fare. Since then, he's appeared in a few television series, most notably Star Trek The Next Generation and Star Trek Voyager as Lieutenant Reginald Barclay. He's also dabbled in film, including 1989's Fat Man and Little Boy and 1996's Star Trek First Contact. He even showed up for a post credit scene in the A-Team film. From the late 90s onward, Schultz found his groove in voiceover work. Mr. T we pity the fool who tries to challenge Bosco Albert B.A. Baracus, as portrayed unforgettably by Mr. T. Outside of the A-Team, Mr. T has gotten into voice acting, appeared on other mega-popular shows like Different Strokes, and even taken a stab at professional wrestling. Unfortunately, in 1995, he was diagnosed with T-cell lymphoma but that hasn't stopped him from acting. He has specialized in playing himself, thanks to his big personality and marketable presence. He can be seen in commercials for World of Warcraft, Comcast, and Snickers. Snickers, get some nuts! While he no longer rocks his signature stacked gold chains, he's kept the B.A. Baracus mohawk and thick beard. Dirk Benedict Seasoned actor Dirk Benedict played the slick, smooth-talking Lieutenant Templeton Faceman Peck. After the A-Team's cancellation, Benedict appeared in movies like Shadow Force and Alaska. He even made his directorial and screenwriting debut in 2001 with the drama film Cahoots. In 2007, he appeared on the British version of Celebrity Big Brother. In the decade since, not much has been seen of Benedict though he did make a cameo in the A-Team film in 2010. Unfortunately, Benedict wasn't exactly happy with the movie as his role only lasted a few seconds. Lance Legault While Lance Legault found substantial stardom prior to the A-Team, his time as Roderick Decker earned him a gold star with audiences around the world. After his work as the gun-wielding colonel was done, he played another colonel, this time on Magnum P.I. He went on to guest star in a variety of other shows, while his film credits include 1997's Mortal Kombat Annihilation and a voice role in Disney's Home on the Range. Sadly, Legault passed away in 2012. Although he posthumously appeared alongside Paul Rudd and Emile Hirsch in the 2013 comedy-drama film Prince Avalanche. Robert Vaughn General Hunt Stockwell had a knack for antagonism, a no-nonsense demeanor, and an ability to wear a pair of aviator-framed blue blockers like nobody's business. Veteran actor Robert Vaughn slipped into the role with ease, bringing the formidable bad guy to life in the show's final season. With an already long list of acting roles in his resume, Vaughn kept his momentum at a crazy fast speed once the show stopped airing. He took to the stage as Juror 9 in 12 Angry Men, appeared on a few episodes of Law & Order, and starred in films like Motel Blue and Pootie Tang. Vaughn's steadiest gig following the A-Team, however, was in the British drama series Hustle, which ran from 2004 to 2012. After a year-long battle with leukemia, Vaughn passed away in November 2016, but we have no doubt his acting legacy will live on for a long time.